Welcome to The Endless Knot. While at VidCon, we thought we'd take the opportunity to have a little fun with our friends and fellow educational creators and quiz them about etymologies. I gave them pairs of words and asked them to guess whether or not they thought those words were etymologically related or not. Here's what happened. If you think about it, aren't all words related? All right, so the first pair of words is car and chariot. It, yes, those are related. Car and chariot. Interesting. I mean, they both sort of have the same front sound, and a car is kind of like the evolution of a chariot. So I guess I would say yes, I think that one does come from the other. I'll go with yes. Hmm. Something makes me think that those would be like first impression you'd think they'd be similar. So my guess is that they're probably not related because that's the trick. <laughs> I mean, it, they both have C-A-R. Uh, they, they're both modes of transportation. Like, it would make a lot of sense for those to be related, which makes me feel like this is a trick question, but I'm going to go with my gut and say yes. You're right, they are yes. related. <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, they are related. Uh, chariot actually is the later word. They both come from uh, Latin carus, uh, which itself is a borrowing from a Gaulish word which referred to a Celtic war chariot. See, I would have drawn the connection the other the way. Other way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the next pair of words is island and isle. Isle, I-S-L-E. Yeah, yeah, I mean that, I just, I can't imagine a wor world in which Isle isn't a shortening of island, but I can see your face. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I'm going to go with yes, because that feels right. I feel like this is a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't possibly be not related. <laughs> I, I mean, Isle and island, because, like... That's how a lot of words are made, is that you just smash them together, right? And especially Old English, which is basically Proto-German. Um, and, you know, isles, isle, land, and I would say yes. No, those are not related. Yes? Yes, I think they are related. I guess it would make sense, or I guess I've always assumed that Isle came from Island because they've got so much of their spelling in common, but maybe maybe they were two different words that wound up meaning the same thing. Yeah, I feel like this is a case of convergent evolution, as it were, where they both wound up converging on the same idea but came from two different meanings. Like, yeah? Yep. Yes! Right. So <laughs> Surprisingly, they're not related. Island comes from uh, Old English ia plus land, and ia goes back to the Proto-Indo-European root aqua, uh, the water root. So basically it means land, uh, water land, whereas isle comes from Latin insula and is not at all related. See, like the, the, uh, my, my, my strategy is to see if you're trying to do a bit, and, and then you, one was not a bit, and one was a bit, and now I'm like, now, now I have to actually know things, which is um, my secret weakness. <laughs> All right, you'll enjoy this one. Oh, boy. Thrush and ostrich. Thrush and ostrich. Wow. Um, boy, oh, boy. Well, those two kinds of bird are not especially well, <laughs> like, closely related. Um... But as to whether or not the words are closely related, I'm going to say no, but I don't really have a good reason why. <laughs> but ostrich is a fairly new word to the English language, isn't it? Um, I would have thought that that's something only dating back to like the 18th century. Um, so I would guess no, but I'm guessing I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and those feel like like I could see a connection, but I also I wouldn't have guessed it. Like it doesn't feel necessarily, but then it could be like ostrich is like some prefix attached to thrush that then got modified. But I'm gonna say no. Mm. Oh, okay, so ostrich makes me think that it's got some sort of German name, because like ost that's east, thrush. Also has, uh, it sounds very, the TH sound makes me think that it's got some uh, Englishist 
roots. So I'm going to say they are. They probably have some sort of German past that I don't know about. Those are, those are related. No, they're not. Dang. <laughs> okay. Oh, they are? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well. Okay. I assume, can I guess that, like, ostrich is, like, either an eastern or western version of thrush? Because, like, the beginning, the ost sounds familiar? No, it's not that's that. That's a good guess, though, good guess. Ost is totally east yeah. in some words. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's the Germanic east word. Uh, well, and I guess other languages, it's Proto-Indo-European. So. Yeah, Ostrogoths are yeah, the eastern that's true. They are, in fact, related. They both go back to a Proto-Indo-European root that means thrush, uh, and that comes basically straight through Germanic into English. Uh, it also goes into Greek, uh, struthos, which also meant uh, thrush, but they then added the, uh, the word onto the beginning, megas, megas struthos, to mean really big thrush in a massive understatement. Um, and eventually, uh, they, uh, later on, Latin also added the word awis to the beginning, um, meaning bird. And so from awis struthos, uh, we get the word ostrich. Next we have a group of three words, fear, fright, and afraid. See, like now I'm going with a trick where it's like, what are these words in French? Because I know like half of English words are just French words that have been muddied up a bit. Um, but I think these are not French words, so therefore they probably are related. Those are related. It definitely sounds like they're related. Like, again, like just, just because of the, con like if you'd asked me like, if this had just come up in conversation, I would have been like, yeah, they're the same. But just because of the context of you putting me in front of a camera <laughs> and then asking me whether they're... It becomes a lot harder, uh, but my instinct, you, you have the FR sounds in all of them, and obviously they're describing similar things, and I would say yes. Fear, fright, and afraid. Well, they're, like, they're all related in terms of like what they describe, and they do all have that like sort of plosive F sound in them, but I don't know. I'm trying to go like through what I know of my other languages to think about it, and I don't, I don't think all three of them go together. I think that some of them might have come from different places. You keep on making me seem like trick questions, and they keep being trick questions. Because <laughs> <laughs> gut instinct is yes, but uh, well, fear and fright and afraid. Because I would think that afraid and fright are, are similarly rooted, but f fear doesn't necessarily have to be. So is this one where it's like two are related and one isn't? So let's go with that. <laughs> In fact, none of them are related. The hell? <laughs> so fear goes back to a root that means uh, risk, and therefore from the idea of danger, it gets that idea of fear. Uh, fright goes back to a Germanic root that means afraid, basically. And afraid comes from the combination of the Latin prefix ex, meaning out, and the Germanic root frith that means peace. So literally, out of peace. The right. fear one still gets me. Yeah, it's surprising, because they look so similar and they all have very yeah. close Thanks. meanings. And, <laughs> and our last pair of words is black and bleach. No, those are not related. Black and a bleach. Well, in terms of what they do, they're opposites. Um, but again, that like the BL sound. <sighs> I don't know what language black comes from though, because that's not like the romance root and it's also not the German Germanic root. So maybe they do belong together. Yeah, I don't know where those two come from. So I'm gonna guess they do. <laughs> I want to say yes. Yes, those both, I think, have German roots. Oh, wait, no, because that's Schwarz. They both have some sort of root. But yeah, bleach black. I'm going to go with yes, and your face is saying I'm already wrong. No, nope. <laughs> you are correct. Ah, yes. Actually, I think 
I know this one just because I know that black goes back to a Proto-Indo-European, I believe it goes back to a Proto-Indo-European root that means white. Uh, so I would say yes. And you are correct. You remember yeah. absolutely and correctly. Yeah, I so got that back. from your video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they go back to a Proto-Indo-European root that means to flash or burn. And so from the brightness of the flash or fire color or whatever, uh, that gives us the idea of bleach, the lightness of the bleach. Uh, but from the idea of something that has been burnt, something that's burnt and therefore dark colored, we get the word black. Thanks to everyone for taking part. It was lots of fun. And special thanks to Canubis, who did the quiz and gave great answers, but we forgot to turn on his microphone and therefore couldn't use it. Sorry, maybe next year. In the meantime, check out everyone's channels, and thanks for watching. I think the lesson here is that language is pointless. <laughs> <laughs> At least linguistics. Yeah. <laughs> None of this makes any sense. Yeah, English is completely ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just three languages wearing a trench coat. <laughs>